Thank you. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Sure. Yeah. Um, F is a uh, pretty sophisticated, deep character. He talk a little about going to the dark side, but staying positive, and perhaps surviving the story, perhaps not. Well, I mean, I think, you know, the staying positive part is a really... Uh, it's sort of important to just the, the, the whole concept of the, of, of, of the story. I think it's such a sorrowful and sad story. There's so much death. And uh, you know, the stakes start off high. There's already a huge body count in the, in the pilot. And, uh, and it just keeps racking up. Um, and I think it's really essential that you know, my, my character may not have the tools to solve the problem, but he has the experience of his entire life of solving problems. And he's used to winning, you know, and, and, and where we see him in the pilot, he's just starting to lose. He's losing in his family life, and he's losing against this novel uh, infectious disease. And, but that habit of winning is still very deeply ingrained in him. And he 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 never gives up. Um, and and you know, I think that's really it's a, it's, a, it's a exhausting <laughs> to play the person who never gives up. But but it's 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 essential for for keeping people I think engaged because you know uh, once it's just about survival, um, it becomes a very different thing. And, and, and so there is this this constant quest and that's what makes it an adventure story as much as it is a horror story that it's about this quest to to save humanity uh, and to and to stop the suffering how are you kind of feeling about the, the wig I love it, I, love it. <laughs> I heard it might not last the whole season though uh, you know it we, yeah, I mean, we, we, we've left our, our, our options open. And one of the great things about Blink being bald is that it's a, it's a blank slate. And, uh, you know, I can, uh, I can go in any direction. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it is one of many aesthetic elements in the show. Uh, there's a lot of wigs in the show, actually. Um, uh, but it, it's, I find it very helpful in playing this character. Um, and, and a lot of what was exciting about the character and about the whole show was, you know, it's, it, it does have a distinct beginning, middle, and end where, you know, they said from the beginning that there's a, a limited series going to go for, you know, they'll do shooting for around five seasons. Um, and so that gives you license to really have an arc because you don't have to extend these characters on forever. Um, and so, uh, so, so, you know, as an actor, I get a chance to, to play somebody who really, who really changes. And that can be physical, and that can be uh, behavioral or emotional. Do you have any favorite episodes that you worked on? Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, episode E is... I think it was originally written as a sort of model episode. It all takes place in one location, but they went, it, it got out of hand. And <laughs> I, you know, we, I remember us reading the, 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 the script, and it's just it was so you know I mean the whole show is, is really ambitious, but it just sort of cranked up to this whole another level, and it was it, it was it's like its own sort of little mini action movie. Uh, episode eight. Um, so that was really, that was really fun, and it was something where you know the whole cast is is in every shot almost, in every scene. Um, so I think we really sort of bonded. Uh, it was like during like one of the coldest <laughs> periods of that very cold winter, and so we really sort of bonded over uh, over that. Is that the grocery store? Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, hours. I don't know. How much of it? But I guess somebody. So but you guys have seen up to eight. No. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh. We just had three today. I see. <laughs> Did you have any hesitation about accepting this role or getting involved with this project? Yeah, I mean, I have, I have, I have hesitation over any sort of, uh, you know, commitment beyond. I mean, I, I have hesitation over everything. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, 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 I drive people in my life crazy, but I. Uh, <laughs> decide whether I'm going to take a job or not. Um, 
but you know you you have you know two things to, to go on with that kind of thing you have well three really but you know you have the people who, the, the main thing is the people who are who you're working with and so when you meet with Guillermo del Toro and Carlton Hughes their track record really speaks for itself and you know they, they, they really are at the top of their games and um, and remarkably really nice guys which is a, a nice a nice bonus <laughs> um, and and then uh, you know and then and then the script and, and uh, that uh, that that pilot script was so compelling and just you know from from the first base to the last was just a page turner so I mean it's always a leap of faith you know television because you know you start off with a pilot and then you should go off into uh, uncharted territory um, but it's always a leap of faith but you try to you know you try to find good people thank you thank you guys thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.